guys, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our Crochet Podcast, episode 61. Welcome back to all my subscribers and friends. Thank you so much for popping by. If this is your first time here on the channel, my name is Krista and this is a secret yarnery. This is just a room in my house where I keep all of my yarny goodness and actually the family totally loves it too. But it's generally my yarn room. We call it the yarnery and I love it. This channel is all about crochet and crochet related goodness. We do a podcast every week, live chat on Fridays and crochet yarny bits on the other weekdays as long as I have internet power and my kids are cooperating. <laughs> I have four kids. My oldest is 12, almost 13, and my youngest is five. So it's a busy house. You'll hear them in the background quite a bit. I also have a bunch of dogs, which I sometimes you also hear, <laughs> and some birds. I have a lot of things going on actually, but we do have yarny goodness going on almost every weekday as long as everything is in alignment. If any of that is of interest to you, consider hitting the subscribe button down below and the notification bell beside that so you don't miss out on any of the fun. This podcast, the first half is crochet, and then the second half, I take you a little bit out and about in Nairobi. I'm Canadian, but I moved to Nairobi in 2001. So I just take you out and about either with my family or just something I'm doing on my own just to show you a little bit of what it's like living here. So that is today. Don't think we're talking about yarn for 98 minutes and today was probably going to be a longer podcast because we are going on a driving safari uh, with my family after this. So that's why this one's a bit long and yes, it's going to be there no matter how long it is, all of the driving is today. So. Thank you so much and let's start in on the goodness. Finished objects. Oh, you can see it. <laughs> yeah, baby. This is my never ending flower shawl, which I'll show you. A little bit. Do do. How cool is this? I'll try not to spin too much, but look how great it is. And you can wear it like just on one shoulder. I should, sometimes it should be shorter. You could do a one shoulder kind of thing, depending on your dress or whatever you want to kind of, or however modest you want to be, I suppose. So this is just how I generally wear it. Oh, and this one's my natural cotton. Let me show you this one too. This one's a good one. So this is the one I made in natural cotton. And this one I made in nat, in, natural garden. Hmm. So I'll just show you the, the flowers. So this was our crochet along, our cal for April. Lots of people are making it. Yes, natural garden is coming back into stock. Isn't it fab? So this is natural garden and this one I made last year and I've already tossed it in the washing machine. So with, where is this one at? This one is with natural cotton. So it's also great, but I'll show you the difference. They're pretty much the same size if I wear them both. Like if I put them on. Look at that. Can you see? Let me even get that all bunched up. There we go. See how like one is so much bigger than the other? <laughs> yeah, this, this natural garden is so like, it's thin, it's a size two, and I was really kind of worried about it. Like I thought it was gonna take forever. This is a three, but look how thin it is. Like how dreamy and fabulous. Like it's so light and airy. You can wear it like all the time, even in hot weather. It is 40, what is it ladies? 40% bamboo, 25% cotton, and 35% cotton, 25% linen, right? And then this is 100% natural cotton. But you can see the difference, right? Like one is big and one is, even if you bunch it all up, there's a big difference anyway. You can squish this down and you cannot squish that one down. So loving this one a lot. It's fabulous and yes, I'm putting it back on. Over my fancy hairdo. 
Okay. So, finished object. Thank you. Yes, I finally have one. No joke. Next finished object. Oh, yes, it's this one, right? Okay. Mile a minute blanket. I love it. So, I am making the pressed flower granny squares. Yes, I have them right here. One minute. Making these pressed flower, like an African flower, into a square to cover this whole chair. I think I have to make about 125, so it's going to be a slow process. And for filming, I love sitting here because it's my grandma's chair, my grandpa's chair also. So I love being here, but it's a bit, well, I just wanted it covered. So I made this mile a minute blanket, seriously, like it took a day. Like honestly, it's so quick. Out of a variety of ice yarns that I have on my shelf and I hadn't worked up into a project yet. So I just took a ball of all the colors I liked, tried to kind of, you know, have them a bit matching the neighbor, a smudge, like I did my best to try to do that. And I really love it. So one end is just normal, mile a minute regular. And the other end, oh, I'm showing you the back way. Sorry. There's the front way. And the other end, I put, I did like a chain eight. I hope you can see. Try to look through my blanket. Okay. I did a chain eight and then put little baubles down there. Dangleberries. What are we calling those things? They're cute, right? Just to kind of like weigh it down and have it look cute. Because the whole gist of my plan is to have something on my rocking chair. But I don't want to be, I don't want to be sitting on it because my kids will be sitting on it. They're in this chair all the time and it'll just get dirty and grubby. But if you just cover the back, it's super cute. And then these dangle berries hang along the back end of it. Sorry, I got a hair. Like, I don't know where it is, but it feels really annoying. So the little dangle berries hang on the back side. And when the chair's rocking, the whole, you know, it's really cool. They all kind of like wiggle back there. And when you walk into the room, it looks cool. It doesn't look like you did a really tiny blanket just to cover part of your chair. Totally did. It looks like, you know, meant to be. So two finished objects. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's been so long, right? <sighs> so next on the big old list, would you like to do a mile a minute as a crochet along a cal for next month? I would love to do that. I'm totally into mile a minute. There's a couple ticks, tip. Ugh. There's a couple tips and tricks of having it work out just like super great and super fast. And it also kind of brings me on to whips. Yeah, I know. So my whole plan, I would like a mile a minute blanket on my bed and I want it super cozy. So I, I live under the equator, like in the Southern hemisphere. So we are easing into winter and there's no central heating in my house. There's no heating in my house, which is fine. It's normal. Like it gets down to like 20 degrees, but we like Celsius, but we still like, it's very cold for us. So I want a very heavy, very fuzzy, very fabulous, thick blanket on my bed. Normally I have my scraptastic, which is perfect, but I'm not into the, I'm not into the scrappiness of it anymore. I want something more like fancy but nothing like time consuming either. So I'm voting for mile a minute across my bed with lambkin to join. Joining in the lambkin. What? So this is 100% microfiber. I guess I should read it before I just ramble on about what it is. Yep, 100% microfiber, 200 grams, 100 meters. So it's a size six for thickness, it's bulky, and they say eight to 10 millimeter needles for that bad boy. Love it. I'm sure you've all seen my lambkin before. I'm right into it. Like I literally love it. So <laughs> I do have other whips going, but they're all at a stage where I have to film. And apparently I can't crochet, like my time to crochet is middle of the night. So I can't work on anything that needs filming, right? Great way to justify new whips, by the way, because you're like, I actually cannot crochet right now unless I do something new. So <laughs> I did. If you follow me on Instagram at Secret Yarnery, you will have seen this last night. I also put it on Facebook if you're on social media. Well, like put me starting it.
I'm just busy petting it. Mile a minute. So because my yarn is being held up and not delivered properly, timely, timely? Not being delivered in a timely fashion. I have three colors. So basically, long and short, I would like to do a mile a minute blanket, lambkin to join, saver 100 for the strips, rainbow pattern, one rainbow repeat going up my bed, right? A little bit of drape on the side, like a couple inches. I don't want it like falling down each side. And I want it literally six feet tall, like from the foot of my bed up past the pillows. Like I want the whole thing so it's on your toes and you can pull it up, like no joking about it. So each one of these strips is three inches, so I need 24 strips. And uh, so basically two of, the, two of each color of 12 different colors progressing through the rainbow spectrum in Saver 100. What? So I have three colors that are, that are gonna be going together. I have, oh, I can just show you this one, look. So this will be the next one joining on. And I also have a funny, like, it's a yellowy color, eee, somewhere in there. Can you see the yellowy? Mm -hmm. Which will be the next color. Like it's like a harvest, like a, a khaki yellow, and then it'll go straight into yellow. So two um, strips of each color. So I can join six strips waiting for the rest of my yarn to come. Oh, there's a ball of it right here. Well, I can show you that so you at least see the color. This one here. That'll be the next one I can do. I can touch a lot of crochet, right? Like, <laughs> without getting up. It's like, it's all here. So this is what I'm working on. I love it. Is it weird? I had a question. Is it, is it difficult to work with the um, lambkin? Is it a tricky yarn? Let me just show you my new trick. It's not a tricky yarn, although it is fuzzy. But look at this. Do, do, do. So this has me on a whole other thing. Perfect neck warmer, Debbie. Look, Debbie Canadian Crotcheter, YouTube channel. Check her out, she's awesome. Oh, she just wants, like, she always has like just a neck warmer, Done not like a big thing. She just wants to keep her neck warm. This is hot diggity. This is great. So this is, this is what I'm, ha I hang out with my blanket now. I walk around the house, like I have been like this the whole day, other than to take it off to show you the never ending flower shawl, which yeah, isn't this great? So I wanna do this, literally this, because it fits fabulous and maybe not, you know, six feet wide. That's my tail. Oh, yeah, I can show you that actually. So to work with this yarn, I thought I would have to put it together with like a Saver 100, like work it as a second strand. But the cord that is on there is actually a really substantial cord. It feels like it's definitely a three. And then if you put the fuzz on, you know, so it's a, it's a three weight cord with a lot of eyelash stuck onto it. Super soft eyelash. So I, I thought I was gonna have to double it up. Mm -mm -mm. No, you can use it just straight all on its own. So loving it, loving it. I want to make one in top shelf here. I'm not sure which one I'm pointing to, but there is a really nice dusty rosy pink up in there. I want to do like a scarf, like literally this, just one stripe, maybe like five feet or something, four feet, four and a half feet, and then edge it in the lambkin just for around the house, like just for hanging out. And I thought it would look so pretty in the pink, wouldn't it? Anyway, it's not that hard to work with the yarn. You can't see anything. So you do have to be at a stage in your crochet life where you can feel your stitches. So like after you've crocheted for like a couple months, you know how your stitches feel. So you kind of want to be there before you start diving into the world of lambkin. But you can just feel your stitches, you know where you are. I did frog back a whole side, well not a whole side, I frogged back about 12 inches. And as I started frogging back, um, I was like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't like, ee, what did I do? But I did get it frogged back like normally. It got stuck a couple times, but it came out really easy. And I'm totally happy with it. The trick to edging, like, because the, the Saver 100 is a four weight, regular worsted weight acrylic. And obviously the eyelash, they call it a six bulky, is instead of doing the three stitches in between each spot or in each space, I just did two. So even less stitches, less crocheting, and it's all this fabulous goodness. 
So I'm all into it. I know it's the wrong time of year for most of you, but maybe even for spring, if you live somewhere where it's still a bit like, you know, half this, half that, fabulous. Next problem, now that, I, now that I had this on my bed and the whole family's been oogling it all morning, and it's white, I'm gonna have kids on it all the time. They're just gonna be on my bed, petting it all the time. Right? And I don't know if you remember, but uh, last year, <laughs> When I was doing Scraptastics, I made, a, I made two Scraptastics for my then four and five year old. One, one's Power Ranger Blue, one's Power Ranger Red. So I think I'm going to have to do the same sort of thing in Lambkin for my boys. One's gonna be Power Ranger Blue with Blue Lambkin, and one is gonna be Power Ranger Red with Red Lambkin. I think that would help them stay off of my bed, selfish as it is, <laughs> but that's what I think I have to do. So. This is my latest whip, I'm in love with it. I'm also gonna whip up a scarf, don't joke. I'll film it, it's gonna be true. You're not gonna see the eyelash part, the lambkin, so, but at least it's filmed for people who want it filmed. And if people complain, I can't see your stitches, why did you use that yarn? Sorry, that's life. We'll do regular yarn for the mile a minute, so I'll teach you the mile a minute, and then at the end, I'll give you the secret formula for finishing the tip with lambkin and working along the sides. Right? How fun. Anyway, if you're into that, let me know in the comments below. Just type miles and I'll know that you're up for the cow next month. So great. I'm still working out how much lambkin you get. This is five and a bit feet, a little more than five feet across. Um, I'm working out how much lambkin you need per strip. I think, I don't know if this is what's left of my first ball. And that's a ball. So I don't know if I'm going to get two stripes out of one. I might get three and a bit stripes out of the two pack. So I'll find out how much lamb can we need. Oh, love it. So great. All right. So that's my whip that I can just woo, work at all the time because I can't, I love it. My other ones, yes, shoulder shrug is still in the same spot, it's just here. Shoulder shrug is here, I have to film it. And Ancona, the last ball is also here, have to film it. And that just means I need my kids to be quiet, I need the weather to be kind of the same, it can't be like raining or you know dark and stormy outside, it has to be in the day. So that's that. Those two are still getting worked on. Oh, what else do I have? I have a lot of whips going on. Another thing, a little acquisition thrown in there. Guess what it is? Other than fabulous, we know that, right? This is, I can't remember the name of this bloody wool. Alera, I just had to look at it. Alera in turquoise for my African flower squares or my pressed granny squares. So on the weekend, which you would have seen also if you follow me on Instagram, I made 25 more flowers, not all of them into squares. I have two, three, four. I have six left to make into squares and I, for the 24 that I started on the weekend. So those are really cute. I tried to put a lot of turquoise in them to even out with all the flowers that do not have any turquoise. So working on that, I think I need 125-ish. So I'm gonna get 125 done before I start joining. Oh, I also ordered another, there's a new Alera Green. It's not a, it's just a new dye lot and it looks darker on the computer. So I ordered a pack of that as well to see if maybe I wanna join in a darker green opposed to the lighter green. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. It will be coming in a couple weeks. Don't start me on my UPS issues. <laughs> it's not UPS issues, it's Kenya Customs issues. Okay, now, right, you guys saw it, I know. This is my high tea shawl, just because it, it's like something you could wear to high tea, it's kind of a bit fancy. This is the stitch. So it's treble crochets, chaining, and single crochets with puff stitches. There's also puff stitches. 
So just those three things. It goes pretty great. I'm using a six, what am I using? A four and a half millimeter hook. Four and a half. Turquoise clover. Must be. Yep. Four and a half millimeter hook. So it does go one rose faster than the other. Puff stitches kind of slow you down a bit. Well, upside down. But the row of trebles with singles, you just fly along. So it's, I, I really enjoy it. And then on the ends, this is with the cotton swirl shine. I'm sure you saw it when I was doing my favorites video. But I want to do the border in the, I don't need to hold that one up. I want to do the first bit of the border in this other color, the more platinum -y neutral, and then the hangy, droppy down bits in silver. So it'll go with like, it'll dress up anything for like evening or whatever you like. And just the fringe on the short ends that hang over on each end. So looking forward to that. Yes, I will do a tutorial on it. I have gotten to the end of how big I want it to be. So now I'm just figuring out the best way of doing the border, which I have to film. So that's also on the filming pile before I get carried away. And that's it for whips, I think. Let me check. Do, do, do. Yes. So technical issues last week. Let me just get into that Why I was not around. As I did say in the beginning, I need all the stars to align. I need internet. I need electricity. I need my kids to be healthy, which they generally are, which is great. And I also need my external hard drive to work. And my external hard drive basically died straight up gone, had to go find my music again, had to go find my logo again, tried to get my family, my kid pictures off of it, missing a couple years. I got up to 2014, so 15, 16, 17, I don't, I can't even think about it right now because it like really hurts my feelings, but basically my hard drive is literally dead, unresponsive, all my stuff is gone. I did manage, one of the last things I got off of it was the shoulder shrug, which was great, thank you. I still have to film the last of it, but at least I still have the starting out footage. And also the Ancona uh, shawl, that one I also pulled off of it. So, yeah, yeah. Factory reset my computer, I was hoping it was my computer. Had to put all the programs back on. Not to complain about it, but it really like, all my time was just sitting trying to get, like trying to get information off that bloody hard drive. So that sucked a lot, a lot. It still sucks. It still hurts my feelings. That was last week. Ouch. Sorry, I was sitting on my foot, I think for too long. <laughs> okay, so we're also doing giveaways. So you know, if you, if you remember from our last podcast or the live chat, I think I forgot to even mention it. No, I did mention it. Okay. So we're also doing giveaways now for the podcast and the live chat. Not a big one, just a small little envelope note from me to you. And there's two chances to win every week. One the podcast today and one on the live chat on Friday. So to enter, you just answer the question in the comments box below, like underneath the video, you just answer the question. And then next Wednesday, I will go through all the comments and pick a winner, random winner. So you have to be a subscriber to the channel. It's great if you give the video a thumbs up as well. I can't make you do that, but it would be great if you could. And just answer the question in the comments box below, which is, what is your favorite fiber to work with? So last week was like, what, what's your favorite yarn? This is what is your favorite fiber? Is it acrylic? Is it a wool acrylic blend? Cotton acrylic blend? Cotton, bamboo, linen, silk, cashmere? got you whatever you like what is your favorite dream fiber to work with leave that for me in the comments box below that'd be awesome and hopefully you win so last week we have our first winner from the podcast and generally i show you the thumbnail and you get to guess who it is <laughs> but this person does not have her thumbnail done. So how you want to do that to make a personalized thumbnail is just click on your logo at the top right hand. And I hope I'm pointing to the right direction on your side. Um, click on your profile at the top and then that'll take you over to your, you can find a spot. I think that takes you to your page, your YouTube page. And then you click on your picture again. It says change your picture or upload a picture. And then that takes you over to Google and Google is where you'll upload your picture 
takes about half an hour for it to show up again on YouTube as changed. Don't panic. If you go back to YouTube and it's still the same boring, plain circle, it'll come up eventually. It could even take up to a day, but not that I change my profile all the time, but yeah. Okay. So go and do that so we can kind of guess at who you are when you get, when you win. So for last week, there was 394 unique comments. <sighs> and the winner is, Okay, this is what the winner said. This is her comment. I really like unforgettable, but I use all kinds of yarn. I can do both, but mostly hook. So that other part of the question was for knitting or crochet. So, and the winner is, do you know who you are? Shar Murray. Shar Murray has won our little giveaway, which is all of this. I hope I can put the tea and coffee in the envelope. I'll have to see about that, but hopefully if not, when you send me your email or when you email me your address, right, uh, tell me if you prefer tea or coffee and then at the post office, if I have to take one out, I'll take out the one that is not your preference. So you hopefully get a Caricho Gold, that's my favorite black Kenyan tea, love it. And you will also get a Dorman's Instant Coffee Pouch, that is the coffee I use for my, my iced coffee my frugal frappe, still need to do a video about that. You will receive a pin, secret yarnery pin, and a postcard from me to you. Aren't those adorb? So cute. And also a regular fat sticker. And some fun stickers. Cheap hookers unite. Frugal Hookers, yo. And a represent Secret Yarnery. So all those stickers will be coming in the envelope to you, the lucky winner. All you have to do is answer in the comments below what your favorite fiber is, and of course, be a subscriber and give the video a thumbs up. If you can also share this video on your social media if you have it, or email a link to a friend who might be interested in it, I'd appreciate that. We have, I'm working on, <laughs> a big giveaway for 50,000 subscribers and a great way of getting there would just be like thinking of who you know that would be interested in joining our community and inviting them over to our channel. That would be great. And I say our channel because it is me and you. I put up the content, but you spend the time with me and we hang out together. So it is our channel. It's like our little space. So if you want to invite somebody over to also subscribe to the channel, I'd love it. I'd appreciate it. It would be fabulous. Great idea, right? So just a little quick flash of the stash, giveaway stash, boom. And there's even more on that side, little red guy stuck in there, right? So I'm collecting goods for a big proper giveaway with lots of yarn when we get to 50,000. So that would be great. I'm so excited about it. It's been a long time since we've had a proper giveaway. So I'm really looking forward to that. And thank you for helping me out and inviting people over to our community. If you join us on the live chat, la yeah, there's my dog again. If you joined us for the live chat on Friday, we kind of dived in and talked a little bit about stashes and stash shaming, which is a very weird concept. I won't go into it totally, but I think we're going to have it as the main topic for our chat on Friday, our live chat. And it's just something to think about between now and then. What is your experience with stash shaming? Does anybody make you feel bad for your stash? Because I, I feel that the conception in the world is that whatever yarn you have, you're supposed to have used for a project. You're supposed to buy yarn for a specific project and then use it, but no other crafts or artistic mediums are like that. There's no demand on an artist to use all of their one particular pigment before they buy other paint. There's no demand on um, like draw people that draw to like finish with that turquoise pencil crayon before they buy more pencil crayons. Like all the other art forms, it's kind of allowed to have a spectrum to work with. It's, ex it's expected that you have a full paint box. It's expected you have a full set of markers or pencil crayons. Even if you sew, you're expected to have remnants and things that you can quilt with. 
And even with sewing, I think you're supposed to have notions and all sorts of things to like build stuff together. There isn't like, if you sew, there isn't like, I'm going to use up all my fabric before I go buy more, right? You're like, I have, the, I have lining, I have, you know, a couple fabrics that go together, I have some things for mending, you have supplies. But somehow in the yarn world, you're not supposed to have that. You're supposed to purpose buy, purpose use, and then go and buy the exact amount for your next thing you're working on, which I thought is very weird and worth talking about. So we're gonna be talking about that on Friday. Love for you to join us for that. It's really, really very informative because everybody, there's a lot of really smart hookers out there and it is great to hear their perspective. Like Gypsy Rose, we all love Gypsy Rose, also YouTube channel, go and check her out. Also subscribe to her, she's fabulous. She's in Australia or New Zealand, I think Australia. Love her. She is perp she buys yarn specific for a project and then like she is a zero stash girl. So it's it's not like there's one side is the right way or one side is the wrong way, but I thought it's a great discussion to have to learn from each other and just get to know more about how other people function in the craft and in the art world. So that's Friday. Thought it's a great idea. If you think so too, let me know in the comments below or if you've had an experience with stash shaming, also tell us in the comments below because I think that is just worth talking about. I think it's a valid topic. So if you believe in having a stash, a working stash at your house in your yarn room or your yarn closet or your yarn drawer, or if you just like it in the future, just put plump stash in the comments below. And if you are, uh, I only buy the yarn that I work with or I feel best when I buy yarn, use it up completely and then go and buy more. Like if that, either side, whatever makes you happy. If a plump stash makes you happy, put plump stash in the comments. And if having a no stash or a skinny stash makes you happy, put skinny stash in the comments below. Yay, how fun. So that is about all I have for yarny goodness today. If you uh, want to know what I'm working on in between podcasts, you can just follow me on Instagram or join our Facebook group. Instagram, I am at Secret Yarnery. So just pop over and follow. And then you can also follow me on Facebook, The Secret Yarnery. That's the regular page. And if you want to upload your photos and connect with the rest of us fabulous hookers, you can join our crochet group, which is the Secret Yarnery Crochet Community. So there's links for all that in the description box below. Just scroll down past all the goodness. It's right at the bottom. And thank you so much. I look forward to mailing this goodness out. Bam. And I also look forward to building up this really wicked giveaway for 50,000 subs. I'm so excited. Side note. I am the same excited I was when I had 6,500. As soon as I got over 6,000 subscribers, I felt like it was like the best feeling. Like I really felt like there are people out there that feel the same way about yarn that I do. Like I really felt like I had friends and I still feel that way, but I still, I feel the same way. Like the numbers go up, it's 50,000. It's a really big number but I still feel like, like so happy about it because I have friends out there. So I know some people, it can be like, oh, she already has a big channel. I don't feel like I have a big channel. I feel like I have friends out there. And thank you so much. It's the same feeling I had in the beginning and it just means the world to me. So thank you so much. Now we are going on safari. This is where we left off last week. Binoculars next time, dude. Right. Even binoculars. Yeah, we should get some. All right, fellas, which side? So remember. Right, left, west, left. Just a roundabout. Are you sleeping here? No. Look, 
City. Oh, oh yeah, downtown. So you want to go like uh, the dam? I well, I think we saw the cars this side, right? Yeah, buffaloes. Oh, buffaloes. Oh, couldn't so, even see them. Let's go see them first. Those ones. What but all else? these guys? Oh, they're because there's water. There must be something at the watering watering oh. hole. Just remember, hon, you know my sense of direction. Yeah, I'm working Are on it. That's the dead one. Oh, yeah. See? Ocean. No, the dead tree. Yeah, yeah. Can you see the water? Giraffe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, giraffe's over there. Anthony, did you see the giraffe? Watery truck. Guys, look, it's a pond. Yeah, that's a pond. Over there, look straight ahead. Wait, this guy's drunk. Okay, be quiet now. Yeah. I'm on a kitu. I'm on a Simba. I'm on a STR. A bardo, bardo. Mali, then you have to train Mali. You don't have to eat. I'm not going to look at you left. Why is your pillars? Oh, sorry. Asante! Where the lions are sleeping. Well, there's a giraffe. He's like, go by the SGR. Do you know what that is? No, but he there. said kind of to the left here. Is there like a sign? One, two, three. Uh, three. Sagona Ridge, maybe he means to the left. I don't know. Three, my favorites. Giraffe. You can notice how impressed my husband is. He's not even stopping for oh, giraffe. Oh, you want me to? <laughs> No. There's buffalo there. Okay, let's go see buffalo. Yeah. Two point. Wow, cool. Over there. There's a buffalo. Yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's one. What's this? What's this, Dad? Oh, Impala. I better change cameras to my good one now. Look, Tanya, it's okay. Yeah, Impala. Impala. Wait, I need to get So you camera. remember the road, right? Yeah. 
A giraffe. And, and be quiet, Oli. Yeah. You got it now? I'm, we're watching this one. Here's in front of Oh, right there. That's the bull. Like these, the these kill like a lot of um, uh, humans uh, every year. More than lions do. The, the buffalo? Oh yeah, they kill them. Hippo is the number one, I think, killer, I think. I think so too. You want to have windows open? Oh, that's a good idea, yeah, I do. Thanks. I'll leave the AC on. Turn it on today. It is on, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is on, isn't it? It is on. We, we, uh, right? I saw you turn it on. I know you turn it on. I didn't turn it on. Alright, man, we we'll need to be argumentative. Ostrich. Where? Yeah, over there. Ostrich oh. and another buffalo, it looks like. No, they're. Oh, it's windy. There. What? There. One, two. This side. You can leave your window open. It, the window. It's oh. back there. The sound. Those are cute. And Ollie, you see the ostriches? Do you know they say zebra, zebras and ostriches when they stand uh, yeah. next to each other? What are those ones on that side? Buffalo. Are you kidding? Zebra? Ostrich. Here, there's oh. one close Ostr by. Ostrich. Cool. Oh, oh wow. yeah. Cool. Zebra over Thanks. Can I be quiet? <laughs> like, be quiet. Because they'll run away. That is so cool. Oh, zebras. It's a plethora. It's a plethora. Do you know why zebras and ostriches are Stop for the zebras for a sec. Yeah. Why? Why are they together? Because zebras, the eyesight, they can barely see their stripes. Oh, yeah. Ostriches have got a sharp eyesight. Oh. And zebra can smell anything. Oh, really? So they're like they hang more out each other. together. Yeah. One sense of smell, one sense of sight. Done? Yeah, done. Now look at this, a whole city there. You can That's take so them. cool, right? This is the, more of the Kenya we know, okay? Here. Yeah, there. And no whistling, you guys. That's the Impala. That's Impala? I like how they hold their tail over their butts. That's cute. What's that on the road? Well, wow, they're everywhere. These are all males. Oh. So they'll fight for the female eventually. Oh. The female herd. I think there's something on the road. Okay? Yeah, Impala does it. He says, see ya. Your big engine. He is gone. So they'll stand on the mounds to look for cheetahs and stuff like that. Oh, see okay. how big they are? Yeah. yeah. I can see. And they have strong muscles. They do have strong muscles. And they have strong skin. Wow. 
Wow. So those are gazelle? No, impala. Those are impala. There's a female there also. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh, there's another group up ahead. Hanging out near the where there's more water. But he's got a good bike up on my hippo. Uh, I don't think there's there's not hippos here, is there, Dad? Oh, it's dry. Dry as a bone. This minute. Oh, I was seeing lambs. So we are looking. <laughs> you gotta find them with your eyes. That'll be nice when the rains come. Little river in there. Dad, did you open your own window? Yes, Dad opened his window. Five. 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 Left, maybe. It's a better ridge. Okay. I am ready. White grass ridge. It's kind of cool though, regardless of whether it's see or not. It's like just like a safari, really, in your own car. Forty Big minutes from your house. Uh, 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 Yeah, that's the one that goes to Mombasa, right, Dad? Yeah. Jumbo Jet. It has pink on the no, tail. That's KQ. Is it KQ? No. Oh. I like my Jumbo Jet. Oh, Dad? Dad? Yes. I think I saw a volcano exploding. What? A volcano exploding? A volcano exploding. Okay. Yeah. Let's stick to looking for lions. Then I'm going to shut my window. Yeah, and be quiet, right? Like it looks like a straight line, is it? It must be the train track. Or what is it? Yeah, it's it is not a, the highway. It is a train track, is it? I don't know. Or is it like something we're like... I've never taken the train. Oh, look at all of that. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm going to... Okay, shh. And talk quietly. Oh, Secretary Bird. Secretary Bird. Right, Dad? Yes. Those ones eat snakes. These things kill snakes. <laughs> With their toes. Somewhere here, he said by the by the SGR, and then he by the ridge on the right side. That's where the lions are. Look at the little baby. So cute. Let me know when you're done. Yeah, you can go. What is it? The, the train? Yeah. Wow. Oh. oh, there's water down there. There's a little lagoony thing. Oh, you better be looking for lions. What am I doing already? You better be looking for lions. That's what I'm saying. We don't know where they are. What's inside There's that ostrich. Water? What's inside that water? Sludge. What's sludge? Am I looking for mine? 
mess with my eyes. I'm trying. We're, no, we're looking. We're getting to where they're going to be sleeping. But they're going to be laying down, so we have to really look. Like there's just no animals anymore. So dry. I think we came for the lions, but on the other side might be there might be a lot. See how big it is? It's massive. Really nice. Oh, look at this road, Germany. Yeah. Let's do this. That's why they had like the biggest objection to this right thing is because they say like I was going it might to disturb the, the national park. Oh yeah, it must have because they can see all the green houses and everything. Yeah. Do you remember to get back? Yeah. Nope. What? Pardon me? Okay, hold on. Well, when we when we find some lions, we'll have a picnic outside. No. In the car, sleep. Oh. <laughs> the lions did have a picnic. But even how do you see it? Like outside. <laughs> like. Oh, I saw a little bit outside. No, like eating in the car, like you like. Oh, yeah, we have mandazi. We have soda. Soda. Or juice, I mean. Juice. Nairobi in the distance over there. Wilson is there in Nairobi. So are you. What? I see a sleep here. Let him have it. Oh. Jiminy crickets, eh? Oh, it's Pajero meet Pajero. No, Pajero no. train. I don't know, we're at the lock. You tell me. Okay, sometimes you don't see them all, so you know that, right? There's another car over there. Yeah, he's looking too. Yeah. And we're already... Oh, lots of poop around here. Gonna follow them or go straight? Your choice. Well, it looks like we're going to the ridge, so. <laughs> we're going to get straight to the city, bro. No, we're going to get right. <laughs> on the other side so we go there. But we're, we're, I think we're like way off now. We'll go we'll pass all the this now. There's water there, right? Uh yeah, puddles. Or puddle. And then there's fucking salad Yep. Oh, there's my guinea fowl, my guinea fowl. Are they there? Yeah. From my first safari. Zoom in? Yeah. Hi, guinea fowl. Yes, Anthony. We don't have to. That's so cute. Can we go down there? No, we stay on the road. You can't even go there. I 
like guinea fowls. Wait, it rains the next day? Yeah, then it'll come. Coming. Yeah. After it rains for like a week. Oh, look at this. Bloody cowboy. Oh, gee. He's having a picnic. Oh, did he bust his car? No, they're just hanging out. They're gonna have a little, a little. He wants a lion to come out here. A little snack. Oh, they got kids in the car and everything. They have kids. They have kids. Get all your kids out. Great idea. Exactly. How stupid can they be? In bushes where you can't even see what's there. Anyway. When I lived in Jasper, there was, like, every year there'd be a kid mauled by bears. Yeah. And they're like, oh, bears are so bad. The parents would get out on the side of the highway, put honey on their kid's face, and put their kid down by the bear to take pictures. And try to get the bear to come and give it a nice little teddy bear lick. They're like freaking. Yeah, they did. They, they had totally mauled the kid. Can you imagine, like, painting your kid with some scent? Like, what are you doing? And then they're like, bears are dangerous. Yeah, put some lemon on them. Yeah. And play with the shark, cooler sharks. Yeah. Not smart. It happened every year. Some years, twice. Twice a year. Is this a main road or something? No, not yet. Maybe we should turn back. Where's town? Still that way. Yeah, it is getting a bit rough that way though, isn't it? This will take us back, won't it? Eventually, yeah. Oh, you want me to De go back that way? Dealer's choice. No, just say it. Uh, well, town's that way, so we should keep going that direction. No, we, we go back towards the other side, right? Okay. The only exit is that side. There's no other exit. Okay. You understand what I mean? Yeah. The way we came from. Yeah. So you want me to go back, cut down back this way? Because when we were leaving, town was on our left. So we need town to be on our right. And town's over here. Yeah, but we'll go all the way around. It's the same road we came back. Oh, okay, yeah, let's do it. Sure. What's the question, kids? But be careful drinking, it's bumpy. One. What's that said over there? Well, that town. Exactly from all the way over here. One. Here. You're sleeping. Is it? Yeah. Two. That's bad. Three. Oh, I'm having a little bit. Four. Car. Five. Thank you, Dad. Be careful, guys. Okay, let's do, stop for a sec, Dad. Let's have a drink. We'll put our lids back on. I'm going home. Everybody covered theirs? Ollie? Yeah. Lids, Anto? lids on. Yeah, yeah I did. Okay. And to you? Good job. That's what he's like. Right, right. 
Yeah. Hmm? He's cool. Sorry. This way? Turn it off. Left, yeah. No, don't turn it off. Just turn the fan down a bit. I still have to keep a bit of air. Hi, Mia. Hi, Mia. How are you? You woke up? <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> Turn it off of that weird move Anthony got off of him. Yeah. yeah, now you can turn it off again today. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it was a road near. I, I, I read or a lion.
you're supposed to enjoy your day and you're gonna go to sleep.
all the dust inside. Well, can you show me a, a bunch of needles in your camera? Yeah, when, I, when we get home, I can show you. Oh, what's one over there? You see the dust blowing up? Can you see it? To the left. Way over there. Oh, thanks, Dad. What's that one, Dad? Impala? Topi? I thought Topis have the blues on their bumps. Oh, could be hard. I already seen that Oh, there's zebras over there, too. Oh, here. Yeah, no, Zebra. Oh, no, see? No more? It's okay. It could be hard to use the Because I thought Toby has a bruise on their bones. Babies. Oh, look. Good job, Dad. They're so cute. Quiet. See, you're scaring it away, Hobby. The ones that sit on the highway, right? Yeah. Eat maggots. They do. Let me only that. Let me take a picture. Okay, we can go. Thanks, Dad. Well, they're so big. They have that thing on their necks. Yeah. Holy. What do you call that thing on the neck? Look at these. I think we go the other way. 
because now the town's on the other side of us again. This one, Rona. <laughs> but we were on a good road, right? Yeah, this one. Oh, there's a skull down there. Look down. Oh yeah, buffalo. Ali, do you see the skull? Right on the ground. Yeah, definitely. Let me take a picture of that. Don't get out. Oh, yeah. Don't get out here. It's all right. I'll turn around. It's so much. 
like houses stacked on top of it, like so big. Oh, in this place. My dad was here, so. Oh. This is where the bird did, I think. Oh. Ivory tusks from poachers. Picnic site. Welcome to Ivory Burning. Make your There's visit enjoyable. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, that sucks. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Ivory burnt ivory. They died. Yeah, poachers killed them. area. It's like polished tushy. Okay, well, thanks for the safari, Dad. You guys had fun? Thank you. Yep. Yep. Sorry. 
Okay, who like fun kids? Everybody? Not me, because I didn't find blinding. Oh, well, poor you. Wow. wow, Oliver. Okay, well, I had fun. Yep. Thanks for taking us, Dad. Yep. Too bad. Too bad you didn't have fun. Wait, is that there? Army, army. Okay, let's go. Let's go for lunch. Okay, bye.